Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Monday morning around 10am-ish and I am here at the demolition site for the St Chad's Hotel and I have come to the front to film because I think we're going to get the best footage of this bit. So look, I mean yeah, the sun is well, the sun is there in the sky, so I need to be at a slight angle. So yeah, I think we're going to stay here for a while. Film come here. Maybe if, I don't know. Maybe if I back up a bit. Sorry about this. I'm just going to find the best place to film from. I think I'm going to lean against that post because it's a thick post. The lean up, oh well, that's better, the lean on it from that side and kind of tilted from the wind partially and we can see the front and the side at the same time so this should be good Come on Robex, get going what Tangerine Dream's got a big handful of stuff there That's pull down bits of lift shaft. Robex has got a big handful of something else what he's moving. I'm sure he'll be getting back to the main job soon. But we've got a great view here of the corner of the site, haven't we? The wind is at completely the most awkward angle what it could be at. I think it's coming in from the northeast, and that's where I've got my camera pointed and it seems to be blowing directly into the microphone so I know people don't like that but I am sorry I don't control the wind oh this could be a good dramatic shot look at this guys I'll pull that down that's going to crumble what we're seeing now is seeing the actual front facade as it disappears Tomorrow, Tuesday, is my day off, so when I come here tomorrow to film, I won't have to rush off so much, but what I will do is, I'll come here tomorrow to film, in the morning, then I'll cycle down to the new Hackett, so I'll give you a little update on that, because I did an update on that yesterday, Sunday, and quite a lot of you watched that, so clearly folks are still interested in that. So I'll film the new Hackett and then I'll get back here. Because I feel once we lose these old buildings, you see them coming down and you think, whoa, that's, you know, that's really big. And then they're gone and then people forget about them so quick. It's like the George on Central Drive, that's been there like since the year dot and then suddenly it's gone and you see this big space and the Central Drive looks suddenly weird. But now it's like George was never there. Although I did film pretty much all of the George coming down and I got as much of it as I could on film. And there was a show, a TV show, Scrap Kings, I think it's called. They were filming it for Quest TV because we watched the pro one of the programmes on the telly. They were filming the George. Same with the Empire on Horside Lane. They were filming the buildings coming down and for both of those demolitions the TV crew came and talked to me and they did a little interview with me for the George they put a little microphone on me and everything and put the big TV camera in front of my face and talked to me they didn't use any of my interview or footage and I'm totally not surprised at that because I was million percent terrified and nervous so I just spent five minutes 
babbling like an idiot even more so than what I usually do so yeah they did not use any of that disaster but for the Empire coming down the one on horse side lane the old bingo they did email me and contact me and they said they wanted to use a bit of footage for one of my videos in their show it was something like a 10 second clip maybe 12 second clip of me just walking towards the building well not off me it was me holding the camera as I walked towards the building so it was just like a walk towards the building before the demo started and they said they would like to use that so I signed the release form and everything I said yeah 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 of course you can use anything you want but I did see the show and I don't think I noticed my footage so they probably decided not to use it after all and I think a lot of those shows go that way it's like every TV show and movie they film a lot of scenes and bits and then lots of stuff ends up not being used but yeah that was kind of exciting you know when I got the official form to fill out oh look roof flaps guys that's going to come down any second the sun and the sky this is a lovely day isn't it? yeah but that wind is freaking freezing or maybe it's just my perspective because I'm a gigantic rust when it comes to the weather I'm like the biggest baby when it comes to the cold I think I'd need to live somewhere like Australia in the summer to stop me from complaining about the cold Bit, but I get the feeling this front side here could be down by the end of the day especially if they're working to like half seven at night like they were one of the days last week I mean they're just biting and reaching and pulling and ripping but yeah this bit that we're looking at now could be gone by the end of the day I very properly, well, very definitely won't get it on film because I shall be at work. But somebody definitely will get it on film. like it's going like so super duper duper fast doesn't it and I think we're in the best spot here despite the wind and hopefully you guys will be able to hear me somebody told me the one with comments they were like like you've got to talk into the microphone I'm like it's not possible I don't actually have a microphone there's a little hole in the front of my tiny ancient camera and I have a little bit of dish sponge tape to it just to stop the wind noise to an extent but I don't have an actual microphone to talk into so yeah there is that but anyway you are getting to see what's happening so I think that's the important thing here all three machines in one shot again there we go oh, and we're going back to Robex mountain that's come down since we were here is massive isn't it don't you think it's really 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 big this ball coming down like this i was pretty tired this morning i'm going to be honest because yesterday went on a lot 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 longer than i thought it would and it was a lovely day it was a great day at work we had a gala it went super duper well it was really you know successful but it's tiring it's a very very high energy event Whoa. the best bit has come at the very very end of the video guys so for those of you that 
think I've stuck with you to the end of this video. That was your payoff. Look at that. That was like gigantic, wasn't it? And dust went everywhere. Right, I am going to very quickly end this one, I think, but I'm going to start right up again. So we will get to carry on watching. So I'm going to go now, not waste any time, and I shall be right back.